Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this video, I'll be discussing basics of modular arithmetic. This is the first part of modular arithmetic for cryptography series. Here I will explain division in modulo, what is modular arithmetic, prime numbers and composite numbers and co-prime numbers. So let's get started. Okay, before we talk about modular arithmetic, let's talk about division, which is one of the four basic operations of arithmetic we learn in primary school and that is the basis of modular arithmetic. Here, our focus is on integer division. So, what is integer? An integer is a number with no decimal or fractional part from the set of negative numbers and positive numbers including zero. The integer division process returns two outputs, quotient and remainder. In computing, division operator returns the quotient and modulo operator returns the remainder. Let's look at different conditions of division and modulo in some examples. Here, our focus is only modulo. So, the first condition is partially divisible. When the number is partially divisible, then we always get non-zero remainder. For example, 1. Let's look at another example. The remainder is again non-zero, 3. And the second condition is evenly divisible. So, when the number is evenly divisible, we always get zero remainder. Let's look at another example. Remainder is zero here. And the final third condition, when we divide a smaller number by a greater number, then we always get the first number or numerator as the remainder. Let's look at another example. That is the numerator, which is the remainder of result. And these conditions are very useful conditions to understand modular arithmetic throughout the modular arithmetic learning. So what is modular arithmetic? It is a special type of arithmetic that involves only integers. It is simply to find the remainder of a number upon division by another number. Therefore, it is based on the remainder value of the integer division operation. Modular arithmetic is linked to prime numbers in several theorems. Some of them will study later. Modular arithmetic is predominantly used in asymmetric key or public key cryptography and this is the main reason for studying modular arithmetic. Let's talk about prime numbers and composite numbers. As prime numbers are the fundamental elements of cryptography, before prime numbers we need to understand what is a factor. A factor is a smaller number that divides evenly into a larger number. For example, 2, 3 and 4 are factors of 12 because 12 can be divided evenly by these numbers. Okay, so what is a prime number? Prime number is a positive integer or whole number greater than 1 and that has only two factors including 1 and itself. That means the number can be divided only by one and itself without a remainder. Let's look at some examples. We already know prime numbers examples. Now look at a composite number. It is a positive integer that has more than two factors or simply a natural number that is not a prime number is a composite number. Now let's look at some example here. Note the numbers 0 and 1 are neither considered as a prime number nor a composite number. Another important term is co-prime, which we are going to use throughout the learning of modular arithmetic and cryptography. So what is co-prime? Co-prime numbers are relatively prime numbers and they have no common factors other than 1. That means their GCD is 1. And 1 is co-prime to all numbers as the GCD of 1 and any other number is 1 itself. So let's look at 
two examples one is co prime and other is not so the first example is co prime where two numbers are 21 and 22 we need to check whether they are co prime or not so how do we do that find the factors of 21 and the factors of 21 are 1 3 7 21 find the factors of 22 they are 1 2 11 22 and because they have no common factors other than 1 therefore they are co prime okay now look at the second example of not co prime the numbers are 21 and 27 so find the factors we already know the factors of 21 find the factors of 27 here we have got 3 as the common factor of both therefore these two numbers are not co prime because they have one factor 3 other than 1 this concludes my presentation and thanks for watching my video